Okay, I'm gonna go through the menu. Auto, there's programmed auto, share priority, aperture priority, manual, user settings, subject tracking, portrait, scene selector, another scene selector, sports mode, and auto. And in program, shutter, aperture, and manual modes, you can adjust the full, all the settings. You can adjust image quality, normal, basic, or fine. Image size, 10 megapixels, 5 megapixels, 3, 2, 1, PC, and 1 megapixel. VGA, 3 by 2, 16 by 9, or 1 by 1. You can optimize the image. Normal, softer, vivid, more vivid, portrait, custom, or black and white. And in black and white, you can also change it to, uh oh, oh here it is, to sepia. So, not only is it black and white, but it's also sepia, which I thought was pretty cool. At least it has some kind of color selector. So let's change that back to normal. And next is white balance. They have some pre-chosen ones. ISO sensitivity goes all the way up to 3200. Minimum shutter speed goes up to 125th second. And Continuous is how you shoot different time intervals. You can shoot a single shot. Continuous high, which takes six shots at normal 10 megapixels really fast. Continuous low, which takes it at a, a slower shutter speed, but also takes 10, I mean 10 megapixel shots. And that one goes up to 32 frames. There's BSS, which is best shot selector which it takes 16 shots and it shoots the best one. There's multi-shot 16 where it takes an array of 16 shots. Like that. And it puts them all in. And then there's, last one is interval time shooting where you shoot the intervals and it takes it every uh, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes. There's also Here, I'll demonstrate continuous high. Took six shots. There. And you can delete them in current picture, erase selected images, or erase the entire sequence. There's this bed, I mean 16, multi 16 shot. And then there's a shot I took, another shot. And here's one of the um, continuous highs, I mean continuous lows. Takes 32, I mean 38 frames. And then there's also auto bracketing, area focus, I mean auto focus, there's manual center, auto or face priority, which is basically face detection, there's auto focus mode with full time or single, flash exposure compensation, you can change that all the way up to two and negative two. There's noise reduction, auto, or not noise reduction on. I choose auto because it's easier. There's distortion control, which you can turn on and off. Active D lighting, which helps show the lighting in the scene. There's You can save the user settings for all uh, shooting.
activity modes or you can reset user settings and for movie controls or settings you can do 1080p and the star makes it a uh, lower what is it it makes it take less memory and uh, holds more there is 1920 by 1080 720 which is 1080 by 720p VGA and QVGA uh, there's high speed movie mode which takes either 240 frames per second 40 I mean 15 60 or 120 and you would use those for cash range sports at a lower um, definition there's electronic view I mean uh, vibration reduction you can have that on or off and there's wind reduction which you can have on or off and autofocus mode lets you choose between single or full time autofocus and in the playback menu you can do a quick retouch of a photo or you can do the g-lighting if you didn't have it on earlier you can skin soften if you took a portrait you can print a set so when you connect it to your computer it will print you can make it slideshow, you can delete selected ones, you can protect selected ones, you can rotate an image, hide an image from someone you don't want to see. You can make it a smaller picture, you can copy it, like if you took it on your internal memory and then you got a memory card, you can copy it from internal, which is this one, to memory card or memory card to internal. But since I have no pictures on my internal, it's only let me choose memory card to internal. You can make a black border over the picture, which I'll show you. And that's what a black border is. You can make a sequence in display options and choose key picture, but you can only choose those when you're on that certain picture. You can change your welcome screen's picture. You can make it the cool pics, uh, select an image from your uh, memory card or nothing. You can change the date and time zone. You can monitor. You can use your monitor settings by setting the brightness up and change the image review to on or off. You can make a date imprint with, for date or date and time. You can. Put vibration reduction on and on hybrid means it'll switch between the two depending on the uh, priority for the shot or you can have it off. And there you have motion detection on or off, autofocus assist on or auto or off, and they have red eye reduction on or off with pre flash or pre flash off. And they have digital zoom, you can crop it or turn it off. Sound settings, you can have the button sounds on and the shutter sounds on for when it focuses. Auto off, you can change from 30 seconds to a minute, a minute, 5 minutes, and 30 minutes. You can format your card when you first get a card. You can change the language between any of these. You can change your TV settings for how the video input output is in, uh, what is in. And you can change what you use for it. You can charge by computer. You can have a blink warning on or off. You can reset all settings. You can reset the file numbering back to one. And you can check your firmware firmware version. And one thing I thought was pretty cool was Okay. No, not this setting right here. No. Right here. So if you want to capture capture a moving subject, what you would do in sports, you can hold the OK button and then it'll focus and track that. I know the TV's not good because it changes pictures all the time, but you see how it just focuses on that even though I'm moving the camera. Or I think you can. Here, I'll focus on right here and see. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. 
And one more thing was... One thing I liked was how in the playback menu, how it chooses to put all the sequence shots in one shot instead of 38 different shots, which will make it a lot easier. And even if you want to just delete one picture of it, it'll still let you do that, which I think is pretty neat. Also, the 10 frames per second isn't really 10 frames per second. I'll demonstrate that okay let me zoom in on the TV And then after you take them, you have to wait. You see right here, the numbers are blinking. That's how many images you can take. But you have to wait for that to finish blinking until you can do anything. You can't even take a picture. Unless it'll stop doing that, which I think is not the smartest thing, especially since I have a Class 10 chip or a memory card. So I think they should change that. And you see it's still going. And this is only in normal 10 megapixels. But also, this has a little scroll at the top by the flat, I mean by the shutter button, to let you change the I, I mean, I, ISO and aperture. But usually it'll select it by itself. As you can see, it's changed all by itself. And it sees more light and no light. So. That's good. Also, the pop-up fa flash is really bright. Which I'll demonstrate. It also has this I IR sensor. And see, that was really bright. You can see an image. how bright that was in a completely dark room almost that is that bright so that tells you how good the flash is also it has a viewing I mean um viewfinder sorry it's a little dirty but you can see and it's really it comes in handy but it's not the best one ever Yeah, that's my software review of the Micron P100.